when you just start learning guitar or any instrument, it's exciting. Maybe you found a true passion and something that you were meant to be really good at. You're ready, intrigued, motivated, and really bad at guitar. My advice for this stage of guitar is to be proud of anything. Every tiny goal you make, you need to be proud of yourself that you made it. Don't fear that you're progressing slow or that you weren't made for the guitar. It's normal to suck, so be happy with progress. If you play for just a couple of weeks, you can look at someone who's never played at all and say, watch this. Use the little things to keep your enjoyment up, and honestly, this goes for guitarists of all levels. It's good to be proud of minor achievements because they'll all add up and they'll make you a great player. Guitar often seems difficult because the movements are so unnatural. So many people quit for this reason, but that problem has such an easy fix. You just have to keep playing. A great guitarist doesn't play every day, he just puts the guitar in his lap every day and watches what happens. Trying new techniques, songs, or anything is important. Have you ever tried something new once and thought it was too hard? In reality, if you just tried that thing six or seven times, you'd probably be playing it no problem. Don't let the slow process of physically getting good at the guitar stop you from learning and trying new things. This can be anything from learning new techniques, or learning new strumming patterns, to reading guitar articles or watching guitar videos, or even just listening to music and recognizing the guitar parts in it. You'll constantly be surprised at what's easy and what's hard on the guitar, but for the most part, you'll realize that it's just something new. The absolute number one thing to focus on while learning guitar is to enjoy playing. In my eyes, there's no hobby that's day in, day out as enjoyable as music. Every time you pick up the guitar, your first question should be, what do I want to play today? The best part about this is there's no better way to take a big step in your guitar skills than learning your favorite songs. Once you start enjoying listening to your own playing, it becomes a lot easier to want to play, which will make you naturally improve. I'm sure there are thousands of songs out there that you love playing, so this tip is true for players of all levels. Playing things you love is what will keep you hooked on the guitar. It's one thing to know how to play the guitar. It's another thing for people to want to hear you play. You reach a point where you know lots, but your music needs embellishments, dynamics, motion, style, and rhythm. These are things that you'll be continuously trying to add more of, or at least find the right amount of. These things come from the nuanced details in a song. Which parts are played loudly or softly? Which parts are played slowly or fast? Do you drop the energy in song and cause a release in the second verse, or do you continue to build? Playing the right chords and strumming will sound good, but adding the little details will make your music emotionally impact people when they hear you, which is the real goal of music. There's a reason the professionals are who they are. As you start to improve at guitar, you should start to not only play their songs, but look at how they play it themselves and use that to influence your own musical style. There's a lot to learn from just listening to music. This is where you'll come across all kinds of little techniques you didn't even know existed. You'll begin to notice that tons of artists will play their songs different each time because they're not always making songs that are the exact notes, they're often just playing an idea like, let's create a deep soul blues emotion in the E minor key based around these three repeating notes. This is what makes these musicians so great. Investigating into how they actually play their songs will help you improve so much. Like John Mayer says, you develop your sound by failing to copy the sounds of your idols. As you start to really be able to play, you begin to be more and more able to create. Creating is the purest form of expressing who you are as a musician. Creation is also extremely motivational as you start to imagine ideas of things you can play. You want the ability to actually play them. This doesn't necessarily mean creating your own full songs. It just means making something that's yours. It could just be an addition to a song that already exists or soloing over backing track, but the idea is to work towards playing things that will mean something to you. This will only make you fall in love with the guitar more as the instrument becomes more personal. An amazing part of instruments is how well they go together. There is no better feeling than that blissful moment after the last note of a jam where you look at your buddy with the pride of what you just created. There's also no better way to improve than to play with and learn from other musicians. This is something that every level of guitarist should strive for and can definitely be one of the most gratifying parts of music. The great part of this is that it can be done at any level. The most important part of playing with others is just to stay in time and keep a rhythm going. Of course, the more you know and the more you can play, the better. But as long as you can play something simple in time with others, then it'll sound good. And isn't that what music is about? You've hit a major plateau. You think you've reached the limit of how good you can get. 
You don't know what more you can learn or care to learn. You stop practicing all the time. In fact, you haven't picked up your guitar in months. Will you ever get better? Is this it for your guitar jerk? Yeah, it is. Well, no, not at all. Honestly, you're pretty good at this point. You don't necessarily need to practice all the time. Three years of guitar, most guitarists have times when they're not actively improving. That's okay. You've done good work and you can be proud of how far you've come. At some point, something will come by that sparks your interest again. Music will be with you your entire life, allow things to inspire you and follow the road they take you. Naturally, your love for the instrument will stay and there's an infinite amount to learn. When something strikes as interesting to you, use that to grow. Do what makes you love being a musician and what makes you love other musicians. There's always more to learn and you begin to learn things that will blow people's minds. There's no end to your guitar journey and there's always more to come. At this point, you've just got to try things that are out of the box. So why not? Thank you.